Okay guys, today we're back out at the bow yard and today we're talking about hatchets. And in this video, I'm explaining why I think every bushcrafter should have or at least experiment with carrying and running hatchets. So we're gonna talk about some of the useful, so we're gonna talk about some of the useful tips and things that you can do with hatchets, as well as overall why I think hatchets are a great idea, even over things such as axes even over things such as axes. So let's jump right into this. So starting out with the fact that hatchets throughout the times, whether it was by people like Kephart or Nesmik or people like Morris Kohansky, wilderness leaders, wilderness people who have been uh, publicizing books and talking about their adventures in basically every time that they talk about their kit, what they run and what they recommend others to run it always seems to be going back to a hatchet. Now whether it's a double bit hatchet, single bit hatchet, the weight, the size of that hatchet, it kind of changes and depends on the person and the climate, the environment that they're in. But by and large, every one of the kind of, every one of the kind of a great wilderness or woodsman people that have made books or talked about their time in the wilderness almost always recommend carrying a small hatchet, something like the wildlife hatchet or something like the Stoltz Proof All Mic. A little bit bigger, a little bit heftier, but once again, both of them hatchets, and that is the biggest point uh, to make. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific size, type, or bit, but hatchets are heavily recommended and heavily used by woodsmen. So this should be kind of your first tip or clue that maybe hatchets are a pretty good idea to use. Now, let's talk about some of the things that you can do with a hatchet and some of the things that, once again, people like Kephart have talked about using their hatchets for and what I have personally found to be pretty useful in using my own hatchet. Okay, so the first one is before you even get to camp, one thing that you can do with hatchets and that has traditionally been done with hatchets is blazing trails. And you can do this process with knives as well. You don't necessarily need a hatchet or an ax to blaze a trail, but it is far easier, far quicker, and far more expeditious to do it with a hatchet. If you're walking along and you need to make a mark, you can just quickly knock the side of the tree, make a quick little mark, and blaze a trail uh, line. So blazing trails is something you can do very easily with hatchets and something that was done more commonly in the past with hatchets, but still can be done to this day. The next one for me, something that I do quite a bit, is rough out carving. Now what I mean by this is, say you want to make something like a spoon, or a small bowl, or you want to make some kind of cookware item. Uh, hatchets are very easy to take a larger piece, or a blank, if you will, something like a spoon blank, and carve it out roughly. So you're not going to be doing the precise detail work with the hatchet, of course, but when you have that large blank in front of you and you need to pare it down, whether you're trying to shape the handle or you're trying to shape the kind of uh, spoon part of it, or whether you're trying to shape any part of the spoon, the hatchet is something that will do that with great ease and with great uh, speed. So rough out carving, especially with smaller hatchets like the Wildlife Hatchet or the Hand Hatchet by GBA, is a really nice feature of hatchets. So the next one is pretty obvious, but obviously still something that is useful, and that is limbing and gathering firewood. Something that a hatchet does very good is lo limbing larger trees and of course helping with processing firewood. Whether it's just for a night or a few nights, a hatchet is a very useful tool to accomplish that goal. The next one that is very useful for a hatchet is processing game animals. Now, once again, you're probably not going to be doing some of the more intricate work, uh, like caping or gutting out an animal with a hatchet, but when it comes to skinning, or especially when it comes to lopping off limbs, or say you need to chop off the head of a squirrel or a grouse, something like a hatchet, you know, where it might take your knife a bit of effort and a bit of time, that hatchet just, boom, hit it, and that head is gone. You're taking this head straight off the animal, or once again, it's like a squirrel or a rabbit, you know, if you're trying to take its feet off, or you take different parts of the limb, different limbs off, 
hatchet is going to make a really quick just boom done process and in fact this one has processed a few grouse in its time and it's kind of hard to tell now but there are still a few blood stains on the handle of this very hatchet from actually processing game animals itself so trust me a hatchet is can make a world of difference if you're looking to quickly process game animals. So the next one is getting or gathering out of reach resources. So I've talked about this in previous videos with hatchets and I usually uh, talk about this point but it is also still very pertinent and that is that oftentimes there are a lot of res resources whether that be funguses or different uh, natural resources that are just beyond your grip. So, you know, they're just beyond where your hand can reach, just beyond where your hand with a knife could get. That hatchet, while it isn't a, an amazing extender of reach, it ha extends your reach just that little extra more and gets you the ability to gather resources that might otherwise be out of reach. So that is another very handy point for the hatchet. And finally, finishing up, the next two are feather sticking. And of course, that's quite obvious. A hatchet, while maybe not the best, can do a good job at feather sticking. And also, helping build smaller projects uh, around the camp. Now, I earlier touched on the fact that the hatchet does make the process of processing, uh, you know, spoon blanks or bowl blanks much faster, and that is true. But it also can help build small shelters uh, fire reflectors, small walls around a shelter or a campsite, and the hatchet really comes in quite useful for that. And if you have the right hatchet, and of course the right knowledge and skill base to use that hatchet, you'd be surprised at the amount of crafts that may seem quite large that your hatchet can really help with or really lend a hand at. So that is the next, and kind of, and that is the last part for you know seven kind of handy things that the hatchet can do and the hatchet is a very very useful tool and when you start to think of you know many the many different ways that a hatchet can help you it ends up being quite a multi-tool of the uh, toolkit that you carry out so i would highly recommend you know not just for these seven reasons i listed not just for the wise sage advice of woods travelers before us uh, but in my personal experience, I would highly recommend that you at least give a hatchet a try. Some people have tried hatchets, and some people it doesn't work out. But what I would say is, you know, try multiple different hatchets. Something like, you know, this Holsbrook All Might. Something like this Wildlife Hatchet. You know, they make, I think with the word hatchet, unlike axes that are a little bit more set in their head weights and their uh, handle lengths, Hatchets have a bit more diversity. You can get anything from a very small hatchet to a rather large hatchet like this one. And of course, those different hatchets will have different attributes. So I would say experiment with multiple sizes, shapes, head weights, and see what works for you or if you can use one at all. I think they are definitely for the better and you will not be disappointed uh, if you try and try to, or if you make a good effort to try these hatchets in your bushcrafting adventure. So getting back to it, these are some of the reasons why I think every bushcrafter should have a hatchet, should carry a hatchet, should know how to use one, and should regular, regularly and reliably carry one. Okay guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.